Evening all, and welcome to a brand new channel. I'm LCTR, though most people call me LC or that medic guy. Played a lot of Planet Side 2 since beta, mainly as a medic on the EU Miller server, and I have way too many revive ribbons. And I've decided that what YouTube really needs right now is another video games channel. So this first video is a brief intro, a chat about what loadouts I find to be optimal for a TR medic on Planet Side, and a call out for people's opinions on the video. This is my first video on YouTube, so I'm interested in what you'd like or what you don't like, or the kind of thing that you'd like to see me cover in the future. So, let's have a look at my optimal medic loadout. This is my main medic loadout. This is the one I go to most days. It's basically AoE heal, bandolier, and revive grenades, or resonates as I've always called them. The primary weapon is the Tort 9, and I find that to be a versatile weapon. It's good, it's got a really high fire rate, so good at close quarters. Not the best, but pretty good, and also with high velocity ammo, compensator, front grip, really good at putting lots of accurate shots in long range as well. Normally, when I use my secondary, it's normally that I ran out of shots of my primary, and I just want more shots. So the amp is perfect for that. Its cone of fire bloom is really high, but you know what, it's just lots of bullets, fired very quickly in the direction that I want. It almost always does exactly what I need. The tool is the trusty medic applicator. I would advise any medic to get that to its max level as soon as possible. I'd probably get it to level 5 initially, then go for your revive grenades, and then bump it up to level 6 afterwards. It really is your go-to tool. It not only gets you a longer range at the upper levels, but also gets you a much shorter revive and heal time. So the ability is the AoE heal, or the nano regen device as it's known in Planet Side. Basically that means that you can heal yourself and those around you up to a certain radius. I used to use the Medic Bubble or Regeneration Field, but honestly now that I'm not going for the Shielding Ribbons, because I'm kind of done with that, I find the AoE heal is a lot more versatile. You can easily heal those around you, it also gives yourself better survivability as well. In the suit slot there, I'm using Grenade Bandolier. I find that to be better than any of the other options. A lot of people like things like a Flak Armor, or a nano weave armor. Personally, I find that picking my moments and picking my angles and trying to stay out of the main line of fire and then being able to revive large numbers of teammates is far superior to the small extra bout of survivability that you get from having armor in yourself. So moving on to the grenade slot there, I use four revive grenades and I generally never use anything else apart from that. In the utility slot, there's two C4s. If I had to be truthful, I'd say that's far too overpowered. Uh, medics really shouldn't be running around with C4. For instance, if you meet a tank at close range, if you run at the tank, generally they panic because they presume you have C4. That really shouldn't be the case. As much as it might hurt me, I would say that medics probably shouldn't be carrying C4. But while we have it, brilliant. I carry it all the time. At the moment there, in the implant slot, I'm running Battle Hardened. I find that's generally a, a good thing to be running. One of the other options I do run is Regeneration 1, which is the lowest regeneration tier. It gives you about 4% per second. I personally don't think it's worth going for the higher regeneration options. They get you another percent or slightly more than that, but the amount of charge that they go through is far, far higher. So using AoE heal and regeneration can actually give you really, really good survivability. Like I said at the start, this is my first YouTube video and I'm still kind of finding my feet, so some feedback would be really great. If you like my video, then feel free to give me a thumbs up and tell me I'm on the right path. If you didn't like it, then also please feel free to leave me a comment telling me why. Maybe you have questions, comments, perhaps you disagree with my choices or simply want to tell me that my accent is weird. That's all good, just let me know in the comment section below. If you want to find me online, my Twitter handle is at LCTRGames. Thanks for watching, take it easy.